Hi everybody, this is Black Rose 2241 coming to you today with a jewelry video. Uh, ladies, you know, I'd be too excited to come up here and, and show you new stuff I'm coming up with. A lot of stuff I don't even get a chance to show because it'd be like just one of a kind pieces that I make and when I, people come to my house, um, they want to purchase it right then and there. So I don't even get a chance to get up here and show you all. And then sometimes I just be testing out certain beads. So I don't even have more beads to make more. I'll just order like a small quantity because I order from so many different, um, vendors in China, also here in the U.S. So a lot of times I don't want to order too much beading because, um, I don't know how, uh, the quality is going to be when they send it to me. Like I've, I've ordered beads that um I, I just didn't appreciate the quality of it and I just I won't I refuse to use them. So um because even though we're sometimes we're working with like even plated uh gold or plated silver or um wood beads or and stuff like that, you still want it to be a, a nice quality to send people. You don't just want somebody sending you any kind of old beads and you just throwing it on some jewelry and selling it. <laughs> okay, so the quality of it, you know, I, I want it to be nice, and I, I, if I have to spend a little extra for it, then I want to get that. But and sometimes I, I, I get really good prices on pieces that are really nice, so um, pieces of beads and stuff that are really nice. So yeah, but I order a bunch of wood beads, ladies. Um, I, I seen the beads on the pictures, and I was like, well, I gotta have those. I want to just do a wood collection. Of like basketball inspired earrings, but using wood and like metal, um, like gold plated spacer beads or silver plated spacer beads, which now it's just going to be in the wood and the gold, um, gold tone because I haven't done any silver earrings. I have a bunch of silver hoops, but, um, with these beads, I just like the way they work with the gold tone beads. So first I'm going to show you all the, um, I have some that are four and a half inch hoops and then I have uh, three inch hoops. So I'm going to show you the four and a half inch first. Okay. Um, so the first pair I'm going to show you is going to be this pair here. And I love these. I love, love, love these. Okay. I love them. Um, four and a half inch hoops. Ladies, this is how they, how big they are. Okay. The second pair, I love these. I love the way these colors work together. I mean, they are absolutely cute. Okay, so I didn't put any gold space of these on here. If you see these and you want me to add them, I will. But I just love how this looks like this, okay. So, and this is also four and a half inch hoop. And I only made four on, four pairs so far on a four and a half inch hoop. Um, but I am going to make some more designs. Now this one, it doesn't have anything to do with the wood collection. But since I'm on the four and a half inch hoops, I want to show them to you. Okay, and you all can let me know what you think about these. This is something that's just wild enough about. <laughs> but these are not like wooden beads. You have some that's made of like silk fabric, which is like these uh, cheetah print ones here. And then some, well these do have wood beads on it. These have wood beads and like uh, gold tone spacer beads. And then um, like glass beads here. And then the rhinestone beads. Then it has crocheted, um, like round, round, like round spacer beads on here. And I thought these were cute. This is how they look on the side. That side, I think that's how to get touched to it. These are the chains that has like three chains on them. So definitely let me know what you think about those. Those are long, ladies. <laughs> those are long. I think these will look really cute with short hair. I used to wear them with long hair, but I, I just think it will set it off. 
especially how those divas they uh, you have some divas that can really wear a shaved hairstyle i think those will look gorgeous on somebody with like a shaved head or a short haircut so um there okay so that's all i have for the four and a half inch hoops um the rest of them are three and three inch hoops okay so these are the first pair ladies And the second sheet of print with the wooden spacer bees in the middle. Like three wooden spacer bees. Then you have the spacer bees here. I love these. Okay. And the next pair of ladies are these here. And it's like the olive. This one is not. Like the olive color uh, wood bead, and then the gold space of bead, and then on this side is the black. Love those. And you can see these three inch hoops, they are still big. I love them. Now, I'm gonna have to make me a pair of one of each of these earrings. <laughs> I am in love with these wood beads. Okay, um, these here, I didn't do the space of beads in between these, but, um, this one is these, so it would be a little bit more simpler. Simpler is how to work. A little bit more simple. <laughs> but cute, too. Okay. So, um, show you the next pair. This is the next pair. Ladies, these are cute. Love them. Like gold and cheetah print. Like the space of these in between. Okay, now the next pair. Show you these next. Love these. Like the tire tray with the wooden beads in between and the space of these. Of those. Okay, and then this. As you see, I can. I try to just even though some of the earrings I use some of the same type of beads, I just try to do different, a lot of different designs. Those love those. Love those. These all three inch. Okay, ladies, I love these too. <laughs> I know I'm saying I love all of them, but I just, I don't, I don't know which pair I would want to wear first. But these are cute. I love black and gold together. I love black and silver together, but I, I mean, I love black. So, ladies, that is those. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. And then these two. With the black and gold, just more bling <laughs> with the gold. Um, these are cute. I love these. Love them. I love those. Oh, a little bit of two with the black and again, and then the ones I showed you all with the cheetah print with the black. And then this is the last pair of the wooden collection. Like the brown, uh, with salsa, space of beads, and then the gold tone. Love these. Love them. Look at that. I love that. Okay, so, I have a few more pieces to show you all. Doesn't have anything to do with the wood collection, but I'm going to show them anyway. Now, this right here, I have these on my site already. It's like a triangle um, type hoop earring. Not even more, it's like a rounded triangle. <laughs> but these are cute. I love those. I, I am absolutely, I love cheetah print anyway. But I am in love with these beads, y'all. 
special average heated print like there are on the other earrings. And this is like a turquoise. It's like a hand painted um, turquoise um, cheetah print bead. And these are cute. I love them. It's like a, a turquoise color, like a blue and like a deep purple or burgundy-ish color. I don't know if it's purple or burgundy, but it's pretty. And then I put the um, rhinestone spacer beads in between. And then up here, you yeah, know my beads I love. <laughs> uh, like you beat it earrings and you know tantalizing did a video and she just explained my earrings so good and it is like in between like a basketball inspired or like a beaded earring I, I don't know I love those two type of earrings and this is just crazy she explained it like that that I love those type of earrings um the beaded ones and then I love basketball white earrings so I, I didn't even think of it when I was doing it that I was combining um a mixture of both of the earrings together you know, so it was it was just crazy how she said that. She mentioned it in her video. Y'all go check Miss Tantalizing out. Thank you so much, Miss Tantalizing, for doing that video. Um, that thank you video. It makes, means a lot to me. You just don't know how much it means to me. Also, Miss Rosby, uh, she put a video up last night. Um, a thank you video. She is just so in love with her jewelry, and that makes me just. I don't, I don't know. It just makes me feel so good inside because when you do something that you put your heart into and that you like and you enjoy doing, I enjoy doing the jewelry. I love this. You know, it was just something I used to do for myself. And I said, you know, I'm going to start making jewelry. And I didn't know how many people online was, it was just so competitive with people making jewelry, but everybody's their own and they're going to make their own unique type of jewelry. And, um, I'm just going to come up with mine. <laughs> But ladies, this is something I tried. I'm, I'm thinking about reconstructing it, um, reconstructing it. But um, let me know what y'all think. Y'all think y'all like it like this? And I know my camera sucks, but I thought these things right here, and it's like a glass, like a pearly glass, and then it has like the peacock um, feather on there, painted on there. But then it's like a um, like a curly type. I know you are I'm not going to be able to see that. Yeah. You see like a shell. But I'm going to just try those out. These are pretty big. But I don't know. For some reason, I'm, I'm thinking I'm missing something up here. Like I should have tied some of the purple and like the green color in. So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think about these. And, um, okay, ladies, uh, let me show you all these I have now. I made these and just wanted to kind of work with texture and the shape of the earring. So I did make these. I love the beads on here. I love those. Like all. They're like different colors, and I know my camera is not doing any justice on the, the beads and stuff. But I think on my Etsy page, if you check out my Etsy page, and I will put a link below, you can see the, the, the color of the beading a lot better than you do on my camera because I use my um, digital camera when I take the pictures of them as opposed to me doing my, my um, using my webcam when I do the videos. And I'm going to start using my other camera. As soon as I get my tripod, I did order one today <laughs> online. So once I get it, I'm going to start using my other camera to do videos. Because it's a lot clearer. I'm still, I'm not putting my webcam down. I will come up here and still do videos with my webcam. So um, hopefully I don't get used to the quality of the other camera. <laughs> and then be like, well, why should she go back using her webcam again? Because I do enjoy coming in here and, and doing my web, my videos on here. So maybe I'll set my other camera up in here. I don't know. Ladies, I made an ear lace. Okay, because I always buy these things. I love these things. They just are so unique and so chic. And, but I, I just I, I decided, I said, I'm going to make some. Cause I have a lot of different stuff around here. And I'm going to I'm gonna try to make one and see how it comes down. Because I spend so much money on these things. Like, y'all don't see me wearing them in my video. But sometimes when I go out, I do wear these a lot. So, um... Let me show you. At the top, it's like silver, the big chains. 
and then you have like the three chains um, coming down it's like in silver copper and then like a rose tone uh, coppery color oh that's like silver antique gold and then like copperish uh, rosy copper color and then as you go down it's like a big gold tone heart so I wanted to do like the four different color uh, you know um, gold silver and you know rose gold copper and the, the gold tone so that's how I did that and it has the um, fish hooks at the top there's like another glance at it and it hangs make sure you wear it hangs I don't want to take them off the thing but once you put it in your ear it kind of hangs pretty well about right here it's really hard to fall um, so I made that and it's not gonna be two of those. I'm not sure how many ear laces I'll make. I just wanted to make one. <laughs> if I buy them so much, if y'all want me to make some more, I will. Um, I order some more supplies for them. But I love, I buy them so much for myself. I said I'm gonna start making them. But then I do spend a lot of money, spend a lot of money on those. And I just dropped the earring out. But now this is another earring I made. It's only one on here. I just made this earring <laughs> today. So I'm in the process of making the other earring. So it's only one on the thing. Once I finish with it, I just put it on, put the back on it, and but it's a long chain. As you can see, ladies, this is a long chain earring. And they hang long. This will be a really cute, funky piece of statement jewelry. The bottom it has um These like silver spacer beads that's hanging on like this um, mesh wire um, chain. And it's just long. Different types of uh, mesh wire chains. And they're locked on there with the rings that keep them together. So this is going to be one earring. It's going to be two earrings that's like this. So this is a statement piece of jewelry. You don't need too much with this. You can put this on, you know, bangle or a nice ring or, you know, something simple to put with this because this is going to be a, a nice big statement piece. Okay. So let me know, ladies, what you think of all um, the pieces I showed you today. I think that's it that I have to show you. Um, let me know what you think. You know, your comments are always welcome. Um, certain pieces, let me know the pieces you might like the most. Um, if certain pieces you may not like so much, let me know. Um, because y'all input puts, you know, really matter to me because if a lot of people say they don't like a certain piece, nine times out of ten, it might not sell. It might not. You know, I still will keep that piece and if it does really good, I put it on the site, then maybe I'll make more. But, um, let me know. Because right now, like these are not going to be the only pieces that I'm going to have on the site. I'm not going to make duplicates and stuff like that unless you say, you know, people request it. Okay. So these are like, um, which I'm going to make myself a pair <laughs> because I'm in love with these wooden earrings. But if, you know, if y'all let me know what pieces y'all like more, then it tells me, um, what do I need to make more of? Okay. So please do that for me and definitely go check out Miss Tantalize and also Miss Rosby. Thank you ladies so much for those videos that you did. You are so kind. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it so much. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom. But y'all touch me um, in the same way. Like Miss Tantalize, I, I have a good time when I go and watch your channel. You know, it's just a joy to watch somebody that is just so um, free-spirited and um you know, just love. They always look like they just love life. And um, that's, it's, I, I like people like that. I, you know, people that are just full of life all the time. And also Miss Rosby, she's the same way. She's always just full of life. She tells you like it is. <laughs> um, you know, she's really a sweet person. And she's, um, I sent her a really big package. And she did, I did a thank you video. And she just put another one up last night. And um, that was just, you know, 
I thank you so much for that video. It just made me feel so good. And you really are in love with your jewelry. And I'm so happy about that. That makes me feel good because I really do enjoy making the jewelry. I put a lot of time into it. And I, I really do um, enjoy what I do. So it, I appreciate when somebody says that they really um, enjoy it and that they love it. So thank you to ladies. Thank you so, so, so much. Okay. And, um, Stay tuned for more, ladies. This minute, this video is 20 minutes long, so I gotta go. Bye. <laughs>